Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Bruce Wayne broadcasting from the cave. Today we have a, a guest is Dodge. Dodge has a beef with Superman. And Dodge with the handsome mustache and the tall hat is going to show Batman what, how things run are around here, my friend. So, here's the talented Dodge. Bang! Superman's going to come up flying. Push. And Dodge is going to smile with his fancy mustache. But he does not remember that Superman belongs to a legion of superheroes. And bam, here comes Batman. He's going to take over. So Dodge becomes splat in the screen and comes out. Don't mess with my friends. We belong to the Legion. All right, my friends, let's get back to work. Today we're going to write this um, problem. We'll have to... Um... So here's the I show. What we're working is fractions and expressions. Fractions and expressions. So this is a unit. The whole thing is a unit. And now we're adding the value of that unit is 9 plus 11. And we need to figure out how much is this right here, this bottom portion of it. So this will be simple because if you look at your tape diagram, you can see that we have five slices, fractions, whatever you want to call them. I mean, four. One, two, three, four. And we are selecting only three of them to find out how much is that. What is the value of that? And that will be three-fourths. So now we can write an expression that says three-fourths of the... Now, here's the key part. These we call the sum. Three for the sum of 9 and 11. I did not say 9 plus 11 because that will be redundant. When we say sum, we assume that actually tell us that we're numbers. So there is your first step, my friend, writing the expression. Now we're going to solve it. So here's how you solve it. You always start with the, met, with the, with the fraction. So here's what I did in my class. See if it helped out. We always start with A and we continue with B. So you will see this. So A um, of B. That's what we're doing. We're finding how much is A of B. So let's not write down F. I mean, A, three-fourths of, and you have to remember that of means multiplication of B, and B stands for, as you can see up here, 9 plus 11. Okay, my friends? Step number one, PEMDAS. PEMDAS is just an acronym, a, uh, an association that helps us know that we always solve parentheses first. So we're going to solve parentheses first. So this becomes 3 fourths times. We're going to solve the parentheses. That will be equal to 20. I mentioned in other videos, my friends, remember that we have to have fractions and fractions, or a whole number and a whole number. In this case, we're working with fractions, so we're going to make the 20 a whole number of fractions. We add a 1 below it. Once we do that, then we can start multiplying. We can rewrite it like this, 3 times 20, 4 times 1 equals 4, okay? Now, here's the beautiful about this. All we got to do is now multiply. 3 times 3 equals 6, that will be 60. 3 times 3 equals 20, divided by 4, okay? And when you do the division, my friends, 60 divided by 4, the four um, can be grouped 
makes one group out of six, when one times four equals four, the remainder is two, and we bring the zero. And then we say that four goes into the 20 five times, five times four equals 20, and our remainder is zero. So now let's answer the question. So here's how you answer the question. So we know that three-fourths fourths of nine plus 11 equals 15. Now, to help you understand that more, that means this is 15. So if these three things are 15, then each of them is 5. That will be the single unit for each of them. Okay, my friends, I hope you understood and learned and brush up on skills that you need to have in fifth grade. These are the basics. Get to it and get it done, my friends. Until next time.